Hi uh, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Sports Domicile, the home of sports. If you are just joining, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified when I drop a new video. Thank you. Hi uh, guys, you are welcome to another episode of Sports Domicile, and today we're talking about FIFA Women's World Cup. FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 semi finals are set after Australia and England beat France and Colombia respectively on Saturday. Spain and Sweden will play in the other semi final. This is the first time the Women's World Cup will have two first time semi finalists Spain and Australia, according to FIFA. Here is a recap of everything that happened in the final day of the quarter final and a preview of the semi-final and these are the things you might have missed australia australia advanced to the world cup semi-finals for the first time in its history at the men's or women's tournament australia also became the first host nation to reach the women's world cup semi-finals since the united states 1999 and 2003 a record of 20 penalties were taken in Saturday's penalty shootout. It was the third penalty shootout of the tournament, equaling the most in Women's World Cup history in 2011. England England is the first team to win a knockout stage at the Women's World Cup after conceding first. The last eight teams to score first won the match, with the other three ending scoreless in regulation time, according to FIFA. England England only has one defeat in the last 37 games in all competitions. That team that beat it, Australia in a 2-0 in April friendly at Brentford Stadium. England has never won a Women's World Cup semi-final, despite Avasi in the last three. Let's look at the important moments of the tournament save of the day. The save of the day will go to the Amanda, which keeps fans in the competition. Firstly, we have likely to have been eliminated in the penalty shooter if not for Elisa Diameda incredible first half save with France goalkeeper Pauline Peru Magni off her line and the goal completely exposed. Diameda now towards the center of the goal and blocked the shots from going in. Win or lose, that type of effort is always appreciated. Let us look at the goal of the tournament so far. If Lexi Santos' goal wasn't the best of the tournament so far, it's close to it. With no forward and runner, no teammates open at the far post, Santos took it upon herself and took a shot from a difficult angle, which ends in the back of the net. Let's look at the Mossy penalty shooter drama. Penalty shooter don't get much better than this one between Australia and France on Saturday. From a goalkeeper, to attempt a penalty will take, it had everything, all the drama. That will be the penalty shooter drama of the tournament. Looking ahead in the preview of the semi final games that are going to be take place Tuesday, August 15. The Women's World Cup will resume with the first semi final on Tuesday, followed by the second semi final on Wednesday. Here is the full breakdown of the schedule Tuesday, August 15. Spain vs Sweden. Wednesday, August 16, Australia vs England. Those are the people that made it to the semi final. Who do you think will make it to the final? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.